So as we've touched on before, there are going to be certain instances where EMI schemes are not going to be applicable to a company. Now that's generally going to be either that you've breached EMI limits or alternatively, the company hasn't qualified under EMI. And therefore you will look at alternatives. CSOP is a great option for companies to consider after they either they don't qualify or they've breached the relevant limits. So Andrew, what are the key reasons why a company won't qualify under EMI and therefore goes immediately into CSOP? So there, there are the EMI qualifying company tests, first of all, that you may not meet anymore. Gross assets have exceeded 30 million and aren't likely to drop below 30 million again. Yeah. Employees have gone over numbers, full-time equivalent employee numbers, have gone above 250 and aren't going to, to go below. Or you've pivoted um, and you now no longer qualify to grant EMI options. You may be a fintech doing a, a pivot that requires FCA, for example. If you are in that situation, the, the classic question we hear from founders and, and boards is, right, what can we do now? Because HMRC is, um, HMRC's EMI plan is the go-to plan. What other approved plans out there? What else can I do? And, and CSOP is one that, that comes up time and time again. Okay. So what are the benefits or the tax benefits specifically attached to a CSOP and how does that compare to an EMI? Yeah, so with EMI, you've got, for the individual, you've got the 10% tax rate in certain circumstances, worst case 20. CSOP, you, you can't get to 10, um, but it, it works the same way as EMI. It's, an, it's a share option. If you hold that share option for three years uh, and then exercise any growth in value from date of grant um, should be subject to capital gains tax at the current rate of 20%. Right. So it's still attractive. When Again, you know, compare that to, to a bonus a bonus plan or an unapproved option plan, which is likely to be taxed at uh, income tax, employees nick and employers nick. It is certainly there. If you exit a CSOP scheme within three years, there are certain limited circumstances you can still benefit from the 20% rate and all cash exit within three years will get you a 20% rate on CSOP. It's, it's just, there's, a, there's not as many complexities to being a qualifying company for a CSOP. The tax treatment isn't as clear cut as EMI, so it's something you know have to discuss at the right time. So for a lot of scale-up companies, CSOP was something that was almost overlooked yeah. over the last few years, um, down to a number of different criteria. But yeah. there are recent changes or recent proposed changes that are going to be effective from April 23 yeah. that are making it much more attractive to scale up tech companies to consider. Yeah, I mean, the, the changes that have been put in place um, to the CSOP scheme are revolutionary and, uh, and we think will bring CSOP back to the forefront of people's minds. Historically, um, CSOP wasn't attractive to certain scaling tech and high growth companies for a couple of reasons. First of all, you could only grant employees a maximum of £30,000 worth of value of shares at the date of grant. Now, much like um, the EMI scheme, you can agree that valuation of HMRC up front, but you can compare the EMI limit, quarter of a million per employee, three million for the company, mm. to the CSOP scheme, 30K per employee. No maximum number, no three million number, but 30K is, is a lot lower. Um, that was a challenge. The second challenge was there was, a, there was a, a test that essentially for companies with multiple classes of equity, yes. which the classic, um, tech and growth company will have. They'll have a they'll have a press stack. There'll be perhaps Series B, Series A's, ORDs, maybe non-votings where, where options are granted over. For example, if you had multiple classes of shares, it was very hard to get options, or you, you couldn't grant options over a share class where there wasn't certain conditions met. Thankfully, um, due to consultation on the, the EMI scheme and then subsequently the CSOP scheme that the, the government actioned changes have been proposed that we think are great. So first of all, um, the CSOP scheme limit of £30,000 has been doubled to £60,000. So you get double the benefit. Um, uh, that's that's obviously fantastic. And it just it is that incentive. But the key thing for me is that that test around multiple class of equity is gone. So much like your EMI plan, you can have your CSOP options granted over a share class that sits down the stack. Um, that That's huge. Um, so you entities of multiple share classes can now grant CSOP without having to consider the idiosyncrasies of a very, very difficult test to meet. Hmm. Game changing. I know you and I already been to have conversations with companies who are going, right, well, CSOP wasn't something that we used to consider just because of the limitations. 
but it's something we want to look at and it's certainly something we're bringing to the, to the top of conversations we're having with companies who are reaching that classic, I can't do EMI anymore, what's next for me? And also has much better tax benefits than unapproved options. Absolutely. And also doesn't carry the same level of complexity as moving immediately into a growth share scheme. Absolutely. And you've got the you've got the HMRC approved wrapper around it as well. You know, HMRC pr- approved wrappers around share option plans because they want companies to use them. Yeah. You hear a lot from Jeremy Hunt, uh, from Richard Sinak about how they really, really back the tech and high growth ecosystem to to support the UK economy and allow us to, to grow and prosper as a country. Now, they put an HMRC approved wrap around those plans to get companies using them and get companies benefiting from incentivising and engage employees who want to push the company forward. Now, by amending CSOP and improving CSOP while having a market leading EMI plan, I mean, you've got to say that in terms of um, attracting talent to entities in the UK, that the UK is, is probably world leading. Yeah, agreed, agreed. And it's become interesting, actually, that it's almost a prerequisite. When senior hires are coming into businesses now, they're having yeah. much wider conversations, not just about kind of base salaries and bonuses, pension, but how they're pension. being incentivized through share option plans as well. Yeah, we, we see it a lot, you know, in a... We get calls up, you know, we're, we're about to offer a new CTO, a new CEO, a new, um, any kind of C-suite. What what can we say to them in, in their offer letter? What can we offer them? What can we give them? Um, and, you know, we, we enjoy having those conversations and we can support companies. And, you know, that just, in, that initial design piece isn't, that isn't a company design of plan piece. It's just a, it's a positioning piece that, allows you to position your EMI or CSOP as an attractive part of the wider package because, you know, for some of these C-suite roles, um, demand is high. Yeah, agreed.